today the church stopped the Sunday during the year, which happened to be the 32 Sunday, and because the 9th of November fall on Sunday, she celebrates the birth of Mother Church. Today we celebrate the consecration of the Basilica of St. John the Baptist, then called the Lateral. And this church goes back to 324, where Constantine built on the site of his palace, this church began to build. But later on in the year, in the 18th century, a man by the name of John Battista Laterano has donated this um, piece of land in which, on which this basilica was built, and that's why it is named after him, the Laterano. But today we go to the first reading, and the first reading speaks to us, speak to us about water. That uh, in Prophet Ezekiel saw water coming from the temple, and this water that comes from the temple gives life to all vegetation, to trees, as it goes by. And we know that that is really what St. Paul calls us. St. Paul calls us that we are the temple of, the, uh, of God, where God, the Holy Spirit, dwells within us. And so what is that require of us? That means that everything that we do is going to be a nourishment and growth for the church. And that's why today Jesus, as he come to the temple and he saw that his father's house has become a marketplace, he really, full of love for God's house, he drove all those who were there and said to them, my house is a house of prayer, but you make it a den of tears. My dear people, we like to consecrate today on that letter of St. Paul. He is writing to the people of Corinthian, of the Corinth, and today the church presents us for our challenge, for our meditation. And St. Paul said, you are the temple of God. You, by virtue of baptism, you become the sanctuary in which God the Holy Spirit dwells. And now that He dwells within us, we need to understand that this consecration was not done for the sake of being done, but really we now become the instrument by which God dwells within us and we have to produce what the Holy Spirit produced through us, the gift of the Holy Spirit. And that's why St. Paul said, whoever destroys this temple, God will destroy him. Because we are consecrated. And so the consecration that we have is a consecration that really gives us that unique relationship with God. And that relationship with God is going to be manifest in our relationship that we have not only with him, but with one another. The consecration of a basilica, the consecration of a church, is very, very beautiful. And so is the consecration of each one of us. Each one of us were consecrated purposely to do what God intend for us to do. Not only to be baptized, but to live our baptism. That by loving God and loving one another, we continue to issue forth from within us that water that make the church grow. My dear people, when we read those readings, especially from Ezekiel, to remind us of the water that flow from the side of the temple, and everywhere this water arrives, it brings so much life, so each one of us. We who are born from the sight of Jesus, from that water and blood that comes from the heart of Jesus, Jesus now is asking us to send forth, to bring forth from within us that same water, the actions and words we do, we speak and act by which we nourish the church. But 
dear people, the time the consecration of the Basilica today remind us also of the authority of the Holy Father. Remember that the Laterano is one of the four basilicas in Rome. The Lateran is number one, Maria Maggiore is number two, St. Peter is number three, and St. Paul behind the walls is number four. Those are the four basilicas that really are in Rome. But the Basilica of the Laterano is the Cathedral of Rome. And so the cathedral means where the chair of the Bishop of Rome is residing. And from that chair, the Pope speaks to us. When we speak, then the Pope speaks ex cathedra. He speaks from the chair. And he speaks from the chair purposely because he is the authority. He is the one by which the authority of Jesus was passed on to Peter continue to be given to us to the successors of Peter even to our present Holy Father and so when we speak about the Basilica today we are not speaking about a building but even we are speaking about the authority of the Holy Father we are speaking about the place from which the Holy Father speaks to us many, many of you say but he speaks from from uh, from St. Peter's he speaks wherever he, he, he wants to be, but he speaks from the office that he holds as the Bishop of Rome. And that's why the Vatican Council speak about, very important, about the, the locality, the, uh, the person of the Bishop. Because the Bishop has the authority in the name of Jesus to run his flock, to really shepherd his sheep, to really care for those who is entrusted to him. And happened to be that being the, being the Bishop of Rome, he himself too is the one not only who cherished the Roman, the Roman uh, diocese, but also to be the father and the pastor of the Universal Church. But it really reminds us very much so of that consecration that each one has. Each one of us, by virtue of baptism, as I told you already, we have been consecrated. And if you look in the readings today, there are three indications of, in the readings that speak about water. In the first reading, the water that flow from the side of the temple that really give life to vegetation. St. Paul speaks to us that we are the temple of God. And so from within us and through us, we continue to water, we continue to make grow our faith and our church and Jesus today he speaks about him to be the temple destroy this temple and I will raise it up in three days that is what baptism is, is all about dear people the idea that we touch the water before we baptize the candidates to the baptism indicate that through that death through that burial that Jesus had after he died from that water, from that tomb he rise again after three days and through that passion and through that resurrection we are now being consecrated to be like him as he spoke very well at the synagogue of Nazareth the spirit of the Lord is upon me he has consecrated me and sent me forth to bring good tidings to open the eyes of the blind and to announce a favor from the Lord. My dear people, this is the mission of each one of us. The mission of each one of us is to continue to do what Jesus himself was given by the Father. We are consecrated in the Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit dwelling within us. That's why we become the Basilica, the temple of the Holy Spirit. And now he is asking us to open the eyes of the blind to bring, the, to bring the light of Jesus in the life of the people of the world. We need to do that. We need to direct people from darkness to light of Christ. We need also to go to do good for others because others are very much important that we really help them because that was the mission of Christ. I come not to be served but to serve and to announce for us that very good important notion of our salvation 
and the direction by which by our life one day will arrive. As we call this celebration today, we ask God to really inflame that Holy Spirit within us so that our words and action, not only we come to love Him, but in a very special way, we use that consecration to touch other people's life, to strengthen people by words of encouragement, by being there for them, so that they too become like us people on the same pilgrimage till one day we arrive at that very beautiful temple of Jerusalem, our heavenly mother, where all of us, those who came before us, those who are going to come after us, together with us, one day will be in that heaven, together so that we will endure forever <coughs> that beauty of the heavenly Jerusalem that the Lord has prepared for us by his dying and rising for us. God bless.